I am Kizal Jackson, host of the daily program Crash Glass, which airs in a few Caribbean islands in the Caribbean region. Now today I come to you not just as an educator and also a mentor, but I come to you as an individual. Who am I? What am I doing? And why do I do it? Being an educator for many years, I decided that I wanted a bigger platform. I wanted to reach more persons. Maybe I could use this gift and this talent to help because I believe that everyone has the ability to learn, but it's just the how. We have varying talents. We have varying ways of learning. What did I do? I went to a wider platform, television. So I went into television to give back. I went into television to deal with many things that individuals may be too ashamed to deal with or too ashamed to ask for help. However, being on television, I have a social outreach program to which I have commercials running daily, asking persons to reach out to me if you're having social problems, if you're having financial problems, if you're having educational problems, reach out to me. And people did reach out to me. Um, every day I have hundreds of thousands of messages from persons. I cannot help everyone to which I have to acknowledge, but I try to help most, as many as I personally can. I am just one individual. Now, it brings me great reward to see when I can fulfill some of these needs. It brings me great reward to see when I, when I can reach persons and places beyond my imagination because I believe whatever we think about, we can actualize. And that desire, that desire to want to help can give birth to something more, which is what? Actually helping. And I always tell persons that no one individual is too small, or you, you may not be rich, or you may not be one of those that you think should be a philanthropist. What really is philanthropy? What really is giving back? Is that desire to want to help. And this desire, I think, was beyond me, and it is a call, it is my social obligation. Now, COVID-19 pandemic has changed the face of the world. It has changed a lot. There are thousands of persons that have reached out to me. And this is the reason I'm here today. Why? Because universal access to education should be for all. We should all have a fair chance to education. All people, regardless of social class, this is what universal access to education means. However, it is taken for granted that now there's a shift. There's a real digital divide. And today I am asking you for your help in order to bridge this digital divide, in order to put laptops in the hands of children that need it. There are so many vulnerable children right now that do not have the tool. They do not have the educational tool. And when I am talking about these poverty-ridden communities and these families that are reaching out to me in one way or another, asking me, yes, I have distributed laptops, but that was like nothing in comparison to the thousands of persons. Now I am asking you because together we can. No one man is an island. I have come to recognize that. Somebody very near and dear to me so tell me, Kizel, you cannot help everyone. Just stop. But what I am saying is that I cannot help everyone, but together we can help most. We can give back to those children. We can give them a fair chance. A fair chance at, at, at what? Education is the vehicle to come out of poverty. Education is the equalizer. What are we saying? That the opportunity is just for some? That those who can't afford laptop, only those children would have a chance to be educated? No. And why am I so passionate? Why am I taking this mantle? What do I have to gain? Because I was one of those children. I was one of those that grew up in a very impoverished community. I was one of those poor children that I cannot turn my back on myself. I cannot turn my back on children that I could have been. I cannot turn my back. Now I have taken up a moral responsibility and I am asking you, I am pleading with you, if you are inclined and if you can support my initiative, let us put the resources in the hands of those children. Let us give them a fair chance. How can I decide who should get and who should not get? 
how can I say who should have a chance and who should not? And this is how I feel right now. Because when I only have a few to give to many, how do I decide? And then there are children and families and mothers that are writing back to me and are saying, Auntie, this is how they may address me. Auntie Kizel, are you going to help me? Now I go to bed with a heavy spirit. I go to bed feeling powerless. I go to bed feeling useless. Now I say to myself, why not? I am never on a platform asking for help, but rather I am always on a platform giving help. I am on a platform to give back, but today I cannot do it alone. We are going to distribute 2,000 laptops to students and tell them, yes, you can, because this is what Crash Class is about, empowering communities, empowering children, and no student will be left behind. Give every child a fighting chance because my mantra is, no student should be left behind, and no student will be left behind.